Hello, I'm Dr. Pamela Vanji, Chair of the Physical Therapy Department at the MGH Institute of Health Professions. For the past 10 years, U.S. News & World Report has ranked our program among the top 10 PT programs in the United States. However, anyone who follows today's healthcare environment knows our field is undergoing tremendous change. That's why we've made exciting new changes to our curriculum to better prepare our graduates to manage and thrive in this exciting environment. Our curriculum unites current learning concepts with the critical thinking and clinical decision-making skills demanded by today's changing healthcare environment. The healthcare environment today for physical therapists is marked by almost continuous change. There's change technologically, there's change in healthcare policy, there's change in models of care that physical therapists have to be prepared to be able to manage and thrive in. Current learning theory and preparation for lifelong learning informs every facet of our new curriculum. This means that your learning is active and self-directed. You'll retain better what you learn because learning is embedded in applied activities as well as hands-on experience. Patient stories keep the focus on patient-centered care, giving context to what you learn and why you learn it. Active learning makes better use of out-of-class time so that your time in class can be used for discussion, application, and synthesis, instead of more traditional and often passive lecture format. Your work out of class includes both structured assignments and self-directed investigations that parallel how healthcare professionals support their own continual professional development. Here's a closer look at exactly how our new curriculum is structured. The curriculum consists of 15 sequential four-week courses, taken one at a time, that integrate and maximize learning within and across courses. This eliminates the need to prioritize your preparation for several courses at one time. Each four-week course includes large class sessions that often incorporate small group work within the class, weekly small group seminars devoted entirely to application and synthesis, clinical skills labs with one clinician supervising the skills practice or problem solving of approximately 10 students, and patient client-based learning experiences in simulated and actual clinical and community settings. Each course has an identifiable content emphasis, regardless of the patient problem or practice setting. But every course integrates materials across five curricular threads and across the many factors involved in managing a patient's plan of care. These five primary curricular threads are clinical decision-making, the human movement system, evidence-based practice, interprofessional collaborative practice, and professionalism. We completely integrate and apply these elements throughout each of our courses, rather than separate them into the standalone courses often found in other curricula. Most PT programs today organize their content into courses that run concurrently during a semester, regardless of whether the courses are organized by system, practice setting, or age group. This almost always tends to separate content learning into separate, distinct areas, despite the best intentions of a program's faculty. We've rethought the traditional silo model to create an integrated structure within and across courses so silos can't exist. This integrated structure is built on a foundation of our five curricular threads. Each course has an overarching patient narrative, or patient story, that frames and offers context for what's being learned during that course, and why that learning is important to patient care. It can be tricky, especially as novice clinicians, to be able to kind of extract what's most important and what's most salient from a patient narrative. I think what really helps is the background learning that we do in the classroom. Um, you kind of learn what's the most important things to kind of pick out, what's important to focus on. So learning from real world examples and real world patient narratives is definitely an effective way to learn how to apply it in a more realistic way. Most of our courses include an integrated, experiential, hands-on patient care component that supports the concepts being developed in that course. These integrated experiences typically include a combination of simulated patient encounters, patient encounters in an actual practice setting, and community-based wellness activities. We use simulation in case-based learning to both enhance and assess learning. 
Simulation uses instrumented mannequins or actor patients, known as standardized patients, to give you an authentic experience with patient care, crisis management, and team decision making that takes place in a safe and controlled setting. Faculty can observe the student-patient interaction remotely to maintain a more realistic setting, as well as to facilitate student reflection as the experience concludes. In addition to the 15 four-week courses, all students participate in a capstone or culminating course experience. The capstone experience includes several options where students work together in small groups to accomplish a goal unique to that experience. The capstone project allows you to focus in varying degrees of depth or breadth on a particular problem or project. This can mean participating in mentored research in a faculty member's area of scholarship, conducting a quality improvement project in a clinical or educational setting, working with a community-based group to assess their needs and plan a solution to an identified challenge, or consulting with a PT practice on exploring practice challenges, such as assessing the cost and impact of adding an aquatics therapy program to the practice. Whatever the capstone project you do, you'll be immersed in solving real-world problems in healthcare. Full-time clinical experiences provide the ultimate application of classroom learning to day-to-day -day patient care. You'll complete a 10-week full-time clinical experience at the end of the first and at the end of your second year of study. This provides you ample opportunity to integrate learning in the real world as you proceed through the curriculum. As you complete your academic work, you'll participate in a matching process for a year-long paid clinical internship. Both the students and the clinical facilities have input on the final assignments through a mutual interview process. Over the past three years, an average of 80% of students have matched with a year-long paid internship that bridges the final student experience through graduation and the first eight months of licensed clinical practice. The other 20% of students typically match with a traditional 14-week unpaid internship that ends upon graduation, after which the graduate independently pursues a clinical position. Our clinical sites include world-class hospitals throughout the Boston area, including those of our parent organization, Partners Healthcare, founded by Massachusetts General and Brigham and Women's Hospitals. While the majority of our clinical sites are in Greater Boston, you'll have opportunities for full-time clinical placements and internships throughout and beyond New England at top hospitals around the country. I'm excited about my clinical placements here at the IHP because I get to see orthopedic, cardiovascular, and neurological patients over the course of the three clinical experiences that we have. IHP students are exceptionally well prepared, in part and largely because of this ongoing interrelationship between the academic environment and the clinical environment, as well as the um, philosophical approach to learning, which is self-directed. The structure of the curriculum and the experiences we provide will prepare you to be an active and lifelong learner who embraces collaborative and patient-centered care to be ready to function as part of an interprofessional team, to manage information, think critically, and solve problems as is done in today's patient care settings, and to adapt to change and lead practice in our evolving healthcare climate. We hope that you'll take time to learn more about our Doctor of Physical Therapy program by visiting our website or joining us at an upcoming webinar or information session. Thank you for your interest.